Capricorn, let's get started. So let's we're gonna pull from a little bowl here so we can see what you guys may be concentrated on for the month of June. Your career. So you guys need to be focused on your career this month. All right. Let's see what Zodiac signs are relevant for you guys this month. I pulled three. So we have Gemini. Okay. We have Sagittarius. I think you guys showed up in the Sagittarius read as well. And we have Aries. I oh, haven't done Aries yet. So let's see what initials are relevant for you this month. All right. So we have N. We have D. We have V. I thought that was an A. I was like, y'all got to find an NDA or what is it? NDA, non-disclosure agreement. We got W. And we have Z. Okay. So let's get started with your read. What messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 2023? Messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for June 2023. What messages or guidance do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for June 2023. Underneath it, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. That's crawling. You're barely moving. So this, if this is your career, there's some investment that you're wanting to make or maybe even have made, but it's crawling. Knight of Pentacles already is a slow moving energy. Knight of Pentacles in reverse is damn near top. Um, with the Magician here, um, some of you guys, you're wanting to manifest something. You have all the resources to get what it is that you need. Um, Nine of Cups here, you wanted to manifest some sort of happiness. So maybe that's the thing. You're wanting to manifest happiness. You have the resources to manifest that happiness, but with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, you may not see your happiness as a good investment. Um, hangman here in, in or it's not in reverse. So I feel like with the Hangman, some of you guys are restricting yourself, needing to change your vision. Ace of Wands here, because there is some action that's necessary. You have an olive branch that's being extended to you so that you can go into this new world um, to create something new here. Empress energy here. Um, Almost your whole first row is, well, three out of the five is Major Arcana, which is, I mean, the odds are in your favor of having some significant change. She's got six of wands here. There's definitely victory moving forward. Um, Hermit here, you're being guided, I feel like, down a new path. You guys are definitely being guided down a new path. Full energy here, that's a new path. Some of you guys are being guided down a new path. But your own anxiety, nine of swords, this is why you're in restriction. This is why you're in this hangman position. You're afraid. Um, King of Cups, you're afraid to open up to this new opportunity. You're afraid to open yourself up. You have an anxiety about being vulnerable. Why? All right, so we got Magician here. That's Virgo, Gemini energy. Hangman here, Scorpio energy. Empress and uh, Pisces energy. Empress here, Taurus, Libra energy. Hermit here, Virgo energy. Food energy, Pisces, Aquarius energy, and that's it. We also got water sign energy heavy here, okay, with the King of Cups, that's Cancerian energy. So let's see what's popping off. I feel like you guys are wanting to manifest some sort of happiness, but you're needing to change the way that you view um, this opportunity. For some of you guys, you have an opportunity for your bounty. Um, you have an opportunity to receive some sort of blessings to allow yourself to grow, but you have to take this new path. Some of you guys have to take a leap of faith and go down a new path. Um, maybe even kind of go within yourself for a minute and master your own anxiety so that you can allow yourself to be happy. So if you're wanting to be happy, the only thing that's stopping you from being happy is me. The only thing that's stopping you from being happy is you. Magician here. Why is this magician here? We have the King of Cups here. So you've manifested, for a lot of you guys, Nine of Wands here, through your own strength, your own will, your own conviction, you've manifested this opportunity for you to be vulnerable. <laughs> but that's your fear. <laughs> so we have the Nine of Cups here. Why is this Nine of Cups here? Why is this Nine of Cups here? Nine Swords here. They say you fear what you desire most. So... Nine of Cups here, Nine of Swords, you literally, I mean, 
That's literally why I said you have the capability of having wish fulfillment, but that alone brings you anxiety. Three of Swords here. Uh, for a lot of you guys, maybe you've had to cut some things off to lose some things in order to obtain this. And that's why it brings you anxiety. Why is the hangman here? Five of Cups here with the hangman. You need to change your vision. Some of you guys are living in regret, um, crying over spilled milk. Things have changed for you emotionally. But Four of Cups, previously you were unhappy. So things may have changed for you, but this five plus four is nine cups. So you have the opportunity here to have wish fulfillment but you are suspending yourself um at this moment ace of wands here you're being offered an opportunity literally ace of wands ace of pentacles can't make this shit up i cannot make this shit up ace of wands ace of pentacles for a lot of you guys you have this opportunity here it is a balanced opportunity masculine and feminine energy here but a of swords your own anxiety is standing in the way empress here i feel like for a lot of you guys there's some new uh things that are growing you have this opportunity to give birth to a new life but you're lying to yourself seven of swords you're lying to yourself. You could also be lying to other people, pretending to be happy when in actuality you've actually manifested an opportunity that is going to give you real happiness, but you're afraid. You're restricting yourself. You're unstable. You're inconsistent with your own dreams. Six of Wands here. Why is the Six of Wands here? We got the King of Pentacles here. So I feel like with the Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, there is victory once you commit to moving forward, once you commit to going down this path. But five of wands, you're conflicted. You're conflicted about the changes that are going to occur. Why is this hermit here, Virgo energy here? We have, did I say Virgo earlier? I thought I did, because you definitely got Virgo energy here. Nine of Pentacles here, hermit. This is about going at it alone. So the reason why you're afraid, the reason why you're stopping yourself is because the path is not one, it's not a social path. This is a journey that you must take on your own. And for some of you guys, you, it is that things will balance out, but that is what creates this unhappiness with this balancing out because you're having to do this alone. 999, you're having to do this alone. Yeah. Full energy here, 9999. Let me tell you who else got 9999. Libra. All right, so full energy here. We got Ten of Cups here. There's an end to something, Knight of Pentacles here, an end to something that, uh, an investment that took a long time to come into, it never, I don't feel like it ever came into the King of Pentacles. I have King of Pentacles on my layout, and it's moving into the King of Pentacles, but only as you move forward. So whatever you thought that, in, that investment was previously, I feel like you didn't have the correct um, because under here is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You didn't have the correct methods to achieve this happiness that you're achieving now. So full energy, Ten of Cups. In order to get the Ten of Cups, you got to take a leap of faith. You got to take a leap of faith. You got to go into the light. Go into the light, Carolyn. Nine of Swords here. The anxiety, though, is creating trouble for you, creating conflict for you. Five of Swords here. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of worry. Um, and it's creating challenges within your foundation here. You're, you're needing to see things clearly. You're needing to make very clear, concise, and discerning decisions. King of uh, Cups here. Why is this King of Cups here? So we have King of Wands. We got one, two, three, four kings out. The Empress is here. Okay. So it's evident that you're allowing shit to happen. Whether you're allowing the right or the wrong shit to happen, you're allowing shit to happen, but you're needing to set some sort of boundary. And I feel like it's to yourself. It's to yourself. You've manifested happiness, but you're putting yourself in suspension. Not accept. There's an opportunity here that you have. An, you have an opportunity to accept something, but it requires you to move forward alone. Your happiness, or some of you guys, I feel like you feel like your happiness is intertwined with either other people that are in your environment or are either intertwined with a job or whatever, your happiness is you independent. So if it's a job, if it's like money-wise, your happiness comes from you being independently owned and operated. And I think I said the same thing for Libra. If this is about uh, love, your love 
your true love of self, which is going to put you in alignment with your true external love, you have to go on this journey alone. This particular journey, this particular lesson is what you need to be focusing on. Becoming vulnerable enough to stand independently. All right. So let's see here. Let's pull the guidance to see what messages we have. So let's see what blessings we have for Capricorn. Messages, guidance, what blessings do we have for Capricorn? We have, can't pronounce it, Don Von Potty, the God of Medicine. So the blessings you have are freedom from disease, greater health and well-being, mastery of the, med of the medical sciences, and spiritual knowledge and liberation. Okay? Let's see what answers we have. You got a question? Think of it now. We're going to be pulling from the angel answers. This is for Capricorn. So the answer we have is within the next few months, big happy changes underneath there. So there's changes that are happening, and within the next few months, I feel like it'll become things become clearer for you, clearer, clearer, more clear. What what messages do we have <laughs> for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Power. This is about taking your power back, understanding you have the power, and looking here that Ace of Wands, that opportunity, is your power. The opportunity to take on this new journey is your power. Let's pull what we have from the power of love. Speaking of power, what messages do we have? This is for Capricorn. We got a bunch of them. First one we got is ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. So some of you guys have learned some lessons. Now it's time to apply what you have learned. Joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. So for some of you guys, this might be finding joy within the lesson. Um, the next part we got is forgiveness. It says you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. So for a lot of you guys, this is about um, being in a, in a high vibration, forgiving those so that you can heal. It's not about them. It's about you. Okay. We have integrity here. You demonstrate, and this is about seeing where you may have aided in this lesson or, or in this heartache or whatever it is the fuck you're dealing with. Integrity here. You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with your every action. We also got unity here. It says you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. Now, what I'm getting from this is for some of you guys, you may have been in either a job or a connection that you really put all your eggs in one basket. I'm not saying that you, I feel like your expectations did not match these circumstances. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you were in a space of you're needing to forgive yourself. I feel like because you were in a space of, of trying to find joy, like uh, trying to find happiness through external things and the happiness doesn't come from that so if you were in a relationship and you were looking to be to, for this person to make you happy or looking for this relationship to bring some sort of emotional security that is where you were lacking because everything comes from within and then it is pushed outward you feel what I'm saying so for some of you guys you were looking for what's within you outside of you and which caused you to be lost and end up in situations that were not in alignment with your greater good. So for a lot of you guys, this is about having integrity around your relationships and taking ownership so that you can forgive and be happy and truly at peace. Let's see what messages we have from the Moonology cards. So let's just God damn slap me all up in my motherfucking face. We got have dream, have faith in your dreams and your dreams need a practical plan. So for a lot of you guys, you do have a dream and I feel like your dreams or do need a practical plan, but you got to work through your fears, okay? You got to work through your fears. You got to put some things in alignment for yourself. Some of you guys, I feel like you have a fear of being alone, but maybe you need to be alone to truly identify what is in alignment with what you want. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? Oh, that's not for the collective. What messages, what guidance do we have for Capricorn? Stop obsessing, Okay. And you're giving too many fucks. Came out together. So some of you guys, you're obsessive right now. You're 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 probably watching a lot of, of tarot readings. You're probably 
asking a lot of questions, trying to search and search and search for answers, stop obsessing. Allow that, allow things to flow how they need to flow. Um, we also got you are not this fucking center of the universe and give zero. So for some of you guys, you got to step back from a situation that maybe was not in alignment again with your past. This is a journey that requires only you. So you need to bring your attention into yourself. This is all I have. Until next time.